I should start by professing that I've never committed a crime. Or at least I've never been caught. <laughs> Have you ever had to interact with the police? Except for occasional LOs in the street, I personally never had to. I don't tend to commit crimes for shits and giggles after all. However, ever since I moved to Belgium, I quite literally had to interact with one. I assume it's like this for most countries, but if you're an immigrant trying to settle in, find a job, etc. After a certain period of time, a cop will show up at your place to make sure you live there and have an understanding as to why you're in the country. This isn't the story in question, the only awkward thing about this specific interaction is just how this cop was built like a shit brick house, and in contrast I was a stick man in pajama pants with terrible bad hair. No, the story I'm thinking of requires a little context. You see, my cousin had been living in Belgium a year prior in an apartment too big for one person. So paying rent half seas felt like a good deal. And now, after close to another year, my cousin has started to date this lovable Romanian girl. For privacy reasons, let's call her Ramona. Ramona actually needed to move out from where she was living previously, and since she and my cousin are a unit, she moved in with us. Now, obviously, I fully understand that I'm the third wheel in this relationship. Thankfully, due to our two shift work schedules, that is, alternating weeks between working from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., when I'm on one of those weeks, my cousin's normally on the other. And yes, this is the main reason I'm always tired and only release one video a month. However, like that, me and the lovable pair don't tend to cross paths, even though we live in the same place. I mostly spend my free time locked in my room, I've got noise-canceling headphones as well, and all of this helps maintain a relatively good level of privacy. Now, on one of the 5am to 1pm weeks, I come back from work. I'm pretty tired, so I just eat a quick lunch and take a nap. On that particular day, that nap was until dinner time. God, where the fuck does time go? After dinner, I get in Discord call with my friends, chat about our days, it's a good time. And after a bit, I feel like treating myself, cause I feel like crap for sleeping all afternoon. So I bust out the chocolate fudge Ben and Jerry's I've been saving up for dessert, and right as I'm about to start eating... Uh... Hello? No response. It's too early for either my cousin or Ramona to be back home, so who the heck is knocking on my bedroom door? After a moment of panic, I think to myself logically, well, there was no response, so it should be Ramona, because she's a bit shy and, unlike my cousin, doesn't tend to answer after knocking on my door. She probably got back from work early for some reason, and I'm definitely not getting robbed right now. I open the door, lo and behold, it is indeed Ramona. Alongside two cops. I don't have drugs here, do I? Uh, hello officers, what's going on? I'm caught a bit of guard, so I don't fully hear what the officer says, but I interpret it as something like this. Yeah, your roommate here was close by to a crime scene, someone stole a thousand euros, and we're just searching for any possible leads and suspects, so we'd like to search your apartment. I thought to myself, yeah, makes sense, it's not like we did anything wrong, it'll be a quick sweep and I can go back to my Ben & Jerry's. We move on to the living room and their search begins. Ramona softly apologizes for the situation and even starts tearing up. I reassure her that I'm not upset in any way and that she doesn't need to feel like that. It's not like it was her fault. But that's when she says to me, I didn't do anything wrong at work, I even stayed later today, I don't know why they blame me. Oh boy. Yeah, not the awkward part, but sad part of the story, I now fully pissed together what the cop told me. And as it turns out, what actually happened was that someone stole a thousand euros from the place Ramona worked at, and her bosses were blaming her without any evidence. My source is that I made it the fuck up. Although obligated, the cops didn't seem like they wanted to do it, so it felt to me like this was a bad case of, and let's say it all together now, kids, xenophobia. Yay. Uh, it's just 
Good fucking lord, some people, I swear to god. But anyway, after consoling her and reassuring her that everything will work out, the cops move into our rooms. Some time passes, and I remember that I have a suspiciously messy room. I happen to have a locked box. Suspiciously, under my bed. I'd probably look, from the point of view of any investigator, very suspicious. Fuck my drugs. So I go to my room, and there they are, with my locked box. They look at me, now look at them. Uh, okay, because I know what's coming, I take a deep sigh and say, if you really need to, I can open that for you. It's essentially a box for... fun. So, okay, I don't fully know how age restriction works on YouTube, so just in case, I'll censor myself by saying, it's a box full of... art equipment. <laughs> The cops look at each other, they smirk and giggle, and ask, So is this what you're into? And, kid you not, I answer, Depends on the partner. <laughs> ah, good lord. Hello, mom and dad. One of the cops even... <laughs> One of the cops even went, This is nice, but uh, we have real hand... I mean, pencils. I don't know if he was flirting with me, or if he was questioning the quality of my art supplies. Either way, situation to views, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> we then signed a few documents, they tell Ramona to forget the whole situation and to not worry about it. She obviously didn't do anything wrong, she now works at a better place, so that's what matters. Moral of the story. Don't be dicks to people of other nationalities. That's bad, you're dumb and stupid. Go sit in the corner. Make sure you clear up any possible misunderstandings with authorities, and most important of all, don't leave your ice cream out for too long, because I completely forgot about it, and I ended up drinking ice cream soup. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing great, don't forget to subscribe, and remember kids, if no one finds out about it, it's not a crime. Wait.